first test of the uh, new design for the frame and this will incorporate a frame test as well as a thruster test. We're going to go with a, a thruster instead of uh, the standard um, propeller design and we'll try this out today as well. So everything is just uh, looks like we've got cable ties there and um, we're going to begin the test shortly. Okay, we're now floating and uh, the design is stable. Uh, there is no ballast at this point other than the air chambers, but it's, uh, it's sitting nicely in the water. First uh, test of the thruster. Um, we're not neutrally buoyant at this point, but we're going to just uh, do a thruster test. And of course, these thrusters will not go in reverse. Port thruster test, starboard thr um, thruster test, and at this time we're going to do a simultaneous thruster test. Okay, now we're going to um, test the thruster which would submerge the system, and right now it's neutrally buoyant. There it goes. And now we'll have it ascend. And now we'll have it ascend. As you can see from this experiment, the uh, thrusters uh, set up in a jet propulsion mode work just fine. However, when you reverse the polarity on the DC motors, it doesn't reverse the thrust because the impeller is uh, turning in the opposite direction but still uh, moving water through the uh, nozzles. So this would be a good setup if you were going to just uh, go down and then let the uh, neutral buoyancy bring the device up or if you were interested in just going forward or turning left and right. So in conclusion, the inexpensive uh, bilge pumps, um, if you just want to move in one direction, uh, work just fine. If you want to move using the same pump, forward or reverse, you need to use a propeller.